Hello, fellow Swova heads. This is Greg Allison with Green Grapes coming to you on Saturday night, the 10th of October, 2020. And what I've got to report to you is a plenty. And in fact, 60,000 Chinese troops have been deployed on the border of India, the northern border, uh, along the line of actual control in the region of Ladakh in the Galwan Valley. Holy smoke, 60,000 troops. Now, reportedly, they just want to get them there, for, you know, for the winter to winter in. Really? Holy smoke, what does this mean? Uh, <laughs> does this mean that uh, things are ratcheting it up? I'm telling you, my friends, tensions are high. The good news is that in the area between Armenia and uh, Azerbaijan, there was a ceasefire, uh, but it appeared not to hold. At least they had a ceasefire temporarily to exchange prisoners and the dead. But they're back at it. So, oh well, <laughs> the world is full of tension. Things are ratcheting up uh, externally and internally. And for that reason, you need to get ready. I suggest to you that we've got a great deal. The real good news is this, right now you can get $100 off a four week supply of 25 year long-term storage food. We're gonna go right back to the report in a minute. But <laughs> imagine this, I mean, for right now, this is the price. Now, it may go up, but it'll still be $100 off. But with, given the food insecurity, given the shortages that uh, are going on right now, yeah, I would say get it while the getting's good. 2,000 calories, three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. You'll be a winner. <laughs> Look at all this good, yummy stuff. And you get uh, desserts and drinks. So, hey, it lasts 25 years. It's an easy carry bucket. So my friends, you can't beat it. And you need to prep as much as you can right now. You can even go up here and click go to prepwithgreg.com. The links are below it in the channel notes. Just uh, hit the My Patriot Supply. You can come in here and get survival gear, cooking gear, power lightning, uh, camp stoves, fuels, first aid, water filtration, purification, and all other kind of options on long-term storage food, including these big bulk number 10 cans, which I love. I've got uh, those things, I suggest you stock up on the number two, 10 cans. And they make good dumbbells if you're using them to scare the heck out of people at night time. <laughs> but you might want to do that and not do this in the future. Okay, let's stop this share and get back to our story here. Um, yeah, it's been uh, kind, kind of uh, interesting right now. Uh, China has indeed amassed uh, 60,000 troops along the line of actual control in India as reported by U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Uh, and he hit on this when uh, he was uh, meeting with uh, the Quad Group. I'll talk about those in a minute. And he basically said uh, that he admonished Beijing for their bad behavior relative to this. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm further than that. So uh, he was with a meeting of the foreign ministers of the Indo-Pacific nations known as the Quad Group. These are, of course, Australia, India, Japan and the United States. Uh, so he was meeting with his counterparts in these other countries. And so they're, they're meeting to see what to do about China and the newfound aggressiveness that China's exercising. Um, so he made the following statements. He said that the Indians are seeing 60,000 Chinese soldiers on their Northern border. And he went on further, he says, I, was with my foreign minister counterparts in India, Austria, Australia, and Japan, a format we call the Quad, the four big democracies, four powerful economies, four nations, each of whom has real risk associated with the threats imposed, attempting to be imposed by the Chinese Communist Party. And they sit in their home countries too, talking about these other countries. These other countries see these same threats. So, um, he went on to say, they see the people of their nations, just off the Quad Nations, uh, understanding that we have all slept on this for far too long. He said, for decades, the West allowed the Chinese Communist Party to walk all over us. The previous administrations have been a knee. Too often allowed China to steal our intellectual properties and the millions of jobs that came along with it. Uh, and they see this in their own country too. This is what he said. Uh, and then he was talking about the other quad countries. He uh, went on further to say they absolutely need the United States to be their ally and partner in this fight. And he went on. But they've all seen it. 
whether it's the Indians who uh, are actually having a physical confrontation with the Chinese up in the Himalayas in the northeast part of India, and the Chinese uh, have now begun to amass huge forces against India in the north, or whether it's Australians who uh, did the simple little thing of uh, saying the Chinese messed up with this deal on the bug that went around, and uh, they asked for a full investigation into what was the cause of this. In exchange for that, uh, the, the Chinese Communist Party began to extort chorus and bully the Australians, according to Pompeo. Pompeo. Um, he said the world has awakened. The tide has begun to turn. And the United States under President Trump's leadership has now built out a coalition that will push back against the threats and maintain good order, the rule of law, and basic civil de decency that comes from democracies controlling the world and not authoritarian regimes. Hmm. He said further, we aim to protect the American people from the threat that the Chinese Communist Party poses. So, uh, you know, and he, what they're looking at right now is to take these four countries, India, uh, Japan, Australia, and the United States and form a Pacific equivalent to NATO and Indo-Pacific. So it'd be the Indian Ocean and other countries will, will probably be joining us, especially those who are who have the uh, Chinese uh, taking all the territory in the South China Sea. Uh, so uh, it's, you know, I'm definitely expecting to see more partners join in. Taiwan would love to join, I'm sure. <laughs> that's a bit of a political hot potato, but <clears throat> that's, that's where we're looking. He says, uh, look, they've stacked 60,000 soldiers against the Indians in the North. Uh, when the Australians had the timidity to, whatever that is, to ask for the investigation of the <clears throat> bug and where it began, something we know a lot about, the Chinese Communist Party threatened them, bullied them. He said, we need partners and friends. They all certainly try to react to what the Chinese Communist Party has become accustomed to, frankly, for an awful long time, uh, was watching Americans bend a knee, watching us turn the other cheek and appease them. He said, that only encouraged their bad behavior, their malign activity, our pushback, they uh, understand we're serious about it. Oh, wow, flow good, does it? <laughs> They've uh, watched uh, where we're going. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. They've watched that we're going to confront them and impose cost upon them. I'm confident that this activity over time will change the nature of what the communist China, uh, what the Chinese Communist Party tries to do to harm America. Well, in time, we're going to find out. That was my Pompeo's quotes, as best as I could recite and read them. <laughs> um, so the reality is this. 60,000 troops is a large force to amass in the Himalayan mountains. Because the Himalayan mountains is a long way from the others uh sources of supply you've got to logistically support these trips it's not just guys sitting around that need to eat and sleep uh they have equipment that equipment burns fuel they're going to be in a temperature extreme environment uh in the oncoming winter if the intent is indeed to keep them there through the winter as they suggested they might decide to deploy them why would you want to put sixty thousand people up on the top of the himalaya mountains and just leave them there over the winter time just so they could grow popsicles, become popsicles? I don't think so. Uh, <clears throat> why put so much force into it? Why put so much equipment up there? The tanks, the aircraft, the missiles, all these things are beginning to array up there in the Himalayan mountains. Like I said, that's a long way up there. It takes a lot of logistics, a lot of cost to maintain that, especially the ideas of maintaining it through the winter. Why? Why is that border <clears throat> so vital that they're going to put all this at risk and risk conflict with another large country, the second largest nation on earth, which is also a nuclear power? Why would China do that? Why is China <clears throat> even uh, challenging their ally, Russia, with Vlad of Vlastok? Uh, so, well, this is really ours. Uh, you know, that's Russia's Pacific naval base. It's not giving that up. So they're, they're just... Are they drunk? Uh, what is going on? That's just, you know, you, you don't say things like that with a country that you're going to count on as an ally in, in, in the heat. Of course, the Russians always know that one of these days, China is going to want to take Siberia. 
I mean, look at Siberia, big, empty, China, Pat, lots of people, and even the natural resources, Siberia got them. Russia don't have a lot to cover it all. Yeah, Russia, knock, 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 wake up. They'll be coming for you. I'm sure you know that. That's why you need to lie with us and why we ought to lie with you uh, in, uh, to help contain China. Um, hey, I'm not saying Putin's innocent. No, he's not. He's not a nice guy. He was KGB. And he rose to power by playing games against the Chickmans. And I would say the Chickmans, uh, yeah, they committed a, a terrorist act in a theater back uh, early on. And uh, his heavy hand against that is what gave Putin a lot of his momentum to gain and ascend to the power he did. Now, of course, one's got to defend our country, but the Chechens, I would say, deserve independence from Russia. But I also have to say Crimea is ethnically Russian. They voted to be Russian. They deserve to be just that, which they are at the moment. Everybody's saying, hey, we can't do nothing until you give Crimea back. Really? Russia's never going to do that. No, 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 no. That is a, 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 their eastern largest warm water naval base. You think they're going to give that up? No. <laughs> no way. So, you know, you got to think about some things strategically and think about what's practical, uh, what's pragmatic. We've got to go forward, you know, from the terms of uh, st strategy. But what do you need to do? We got to cover that too. But in the meantime, think about this. What does it really mean that China is putting 60,000 troops in the Himalayan mountains right now? They want that route. They want that control. They want that access through there for their goods and their troops to be able to move freely. I did a video not long back called Planet China. And I talked about uh, how China can really dominate this world, but I also talked about the methods they're using now with their Belts and Roads Initiative, which they claim are trade routes, but I maintain are really invasion routes and they're having the other host countries pay for that invasion route through them and go in debt to them to build that invasion route for them. Wow, what a tactic. Hitler was a dummy. Wow, <laughs> I mean, aren't we glad Hitler was so stupid he couldn't think of something like that? But think about what we're against today. China is in better position by itself than Hitler and uh, Emperor Hito were together. I mean. The Chinese Empire, the, the uh, Japanese Empire, and uh, you know, the Axis powers overall, Mussolini, Hitler, and uh, uh, Hitto, all together, don't even come close to what China is today. China has the world's biggest. We beat all of them because we had more manufacturing power. China is the world's manufacturer. We won all our wars in the United States in the past by wars of attrition, by out manufacturing the enemy. Now, if we went nuclear, yeah, it would be over fast, and maybe that wouldn't matter as much, but who wants things to go that way? They could. Let's hope not. Let's hope they don't even come to conflict. I really hope we don't have a conflict. But guys, what are they doing with 60,000 troops up there? You know what's the really funny thing? They had just agreed that they weren't going to put more troops up there. Oh, yeah, we're not going to put more troops. We're going to try to establish peace. Well, that's what you get for believing the Communist Party. Did they ever tell you the truth? Oh, well, somebody said, go, Greg, you're not being fair. Well, go ask the Hong Kongers. Go ask the people in Hong Kong, the Hong Kongese, <laughs> which are Chinese, but go ask the people of Hong Kong. No, they were supposed to have independence two systems until the year 2047. I think we're 27 years shy of that, by the way. Ah, interesting how that played out. And all the tension that China's putting up on well, Taiwan right now, all the tension they're putting down in the South China Sea, they've been very extremely expansionist, very extremely nationalist and socialist. You know, what's a national socialist party? Uh, Communist party, right? No. <laughs> Look it up. Look it up. Neither one are past the freedom. Neither one are passed toward prosperity. They're both passed to tyranny. So pay attention to that. I promote freedom. And for that reason, one of the things that you can do besides getting prepared and going to things and get you and your family ready, like I just mentioned with prepwithgrade.com, is join our Freedom Restoration Foundation. We're pushing for freedom here because there's lots of people that are trying to take our freedoms from us right now. Freedom Restoration Foundation. Uh, of course, I've been saying all along, of course, you can email, email me at hal5space at aol.com. 
put freedom in the subject line, the title of your email, or you can join our tribe network, put tribe in there. We are processing these emails right now. Finally, we got it going. I got some good volunteers working that. And, and, and uh, we, right now we have a Facebook page for the Freedom Restoration Foundation. Now, I gotta tell you, you, you sign up there and you can get information, but that don't, that if that goes away, uh, your contact data may be lost. So you still should email us. And we will probably go to another platform because we know, you know, certain platforms, you know, Facebook, <clears throat> Facebook, you know, or, <laughs> or somewhat, oh, they love us so much. They'll let us, they give us full freedom of speech. Not, you know better. So, my friends, we support freedom. You need to support freedom. You need to get yourself ready. Uh, let's hope and pray that these things don't come to pass that we can get through this, that wiser level heads will prevail, and that Pompeo might just be right, that if we put enough pressure on them, they'll back down and change their ways. Until such time as we give up and, and ignore them for a while, then they'll just turn it back on again. Never trust the Communist Party. <laughs> Never. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely, and they're one party system, therefore by definition, they are absolutely corrupt. Even if they had started out, totally benign and sweet and wonderful with a grand leader, Chairman Mao. He only killed 80 million of his own people. <laughs> Oops, there I go talking, using words that are dangerous on certain platforms. Ah. <laughs> so my friends, there you have it. Um, the troops are amassing. Let's hope that they're just messing for Christmas. <laughs> and I'll go away. Just play in the snow. What do you think? Is that why they're spending all that money on this? Why are they pushing that border so hard? Beats me. Beats me. I oh, know it don't beat me. It don't beat me. It's concerning. Very, very concerning. But Greg, India, China, what's that got to do with us? Well, a couple of things. You know, they take this country, they take that country. Okay, that's not us. And they take the one next to it and they take the one next to that. Well, that's not us. The one next to that and one next to it. Well, that's not us. Next thing you know, it's just them and us. And they're the whole world and we're not. And suddenly we're against the whole world. Is that where we're going? I hope not. I really hope not. But the other thing is, if they start making moves against countries that they think that we would react to for them moving against, such as the independent nation of Taiwan, yes, they never were part of the PRC. That's why I refer to them as the nation of Taiwan. Take that, Mr. Z, Z Ping. <laughs> they never were part of the PRC. They fled the insurrection mounted by the PRC. They fled from the mainland to the island of Formosa, also AKA Taiwan. And they are, and always were, and were before the PRC staged their insurrection, the Republic of China. That's what you have in Taiwan, Democratic Republic. And that's another thing, democracies, we better hang together. <laughs> so there we are. I don't advocate uh, anything that's adventurous in the way of bang bangs, if you know what I mean. I hope peace prevails. I hope our heads prevail. We can pray for it. You're free. You live in a country where you have the right to redress. You can write your congressman. You can write your senators. You can write the president. And and you can even write Xi Jinping. But he and I don't listen. <laughs> he don't listen to his own people. But you, uh, hopefully, though, like I said, pray. The biggest thing that we can hope for, the best turn of events would be if the people inside of China say, we don't want any more of this totalitarian boot on our neck, and they change their system internally. And there are some signs afoot that that might possibly just happen. Pray. Because I think we get the world we pray for to a large degree. Pray, meditate, think the power of intention. Use them. Let's put this world in a better place. Anyway, my friends, check that out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, bring the, bring the bell and click all to get update notifications. Anyway, everyone, with that I say, <laughs>